Welcome to our weekly leadership conversation. This is a, a program that brings together industry experts to share their insights about leadership tools and enablers with the aim of empowering leaders become the best versions of themselves. This morning, our conversation is on strategy and with us on studio is Dr. Pasi Opio. As usual, this uh, is brought courtesy of the leadership group and powered by the Martin Oduor Otieno Leadership Academy. I am your host, Obare Nyaega. Speaking a little bit about Dr. Pasi Opio, he is currently the Chief Executive Strategy and Innovation at the Leadership Group. He has over 26 years experience in technology, 10 of which were in the banking where he was part of the digitization team. He is an expert in organizational strategy and process reengineering. He is an academician affiliated to universities in Kenya and in the US. Karibu sana pasi to this program. Thank you very much, Obari. All right. So we start off by recalling what you mentioned that you are very passionate about strategy, foresight, future thinking, and innovation. So from the basics, perhaps you can tell us how important strategy is in an organization. Yeah, thank you, Barry. Um, strategy is very important in an organization because the first thing I would ask is, uh, without a strategy, where, where are you heading? What are you trying to achieve? And remember, we form organizations for a, for, a, for a certain purpose, a certain mission that we want to achieve. So how will we achieve that mission without a, a strategy? So a strategy just gives you the, the approach to getting where you want to get to as an organization. All right. So what comes first? The purpose, the vision, or the strategy? Create an organization for a purpose. Mm -hmm. That has to come first. Then, then once you know what your purpose is, then you need to start thinking about how you're going to achieve that purpose. Right. Yeah. So then uh, issues around strategy and alignment is something people speak about very, very much. How is that uh, achievable within an organization? Yeah, strategy and alignment is very important. First of all, going back to our, your initial question, why do, we, why, why, why do we create an organization? The organization is created to achieve a certain purpose, and that's the mission. Now, for you to achieve that mission, you have to have a strategy, a business strategy that, is, that will enable you to get to that mission. But again, for you to, have a, to, 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 to implement your strategy, you need to know what capabilities you need in the organization. Capabilities could be in terms of people, resources, and then once you know your capabilities, you need to ask yourself, what resources do I need to uh, enable me have these capabilities? And look at your resource base, whether it's financial and uh, a different kind of uh, uh, resources you can tap into. And then the other question you ask yourself is, what kind of systems and frameworks, what kind of management approach do I need to optimize the resources that I have? And that's what creates that alignment. And if any of those components are missing out, then your organization is misaligned. And it's highly likely that you will not achieve that strategy. Yeah. So is there a point you can realign back in the event you realize any of this is misaligned? Yes, yes. And that's why it's part of, it's part of the strategy uh, review process. Mm -hmm. One key thing we need to always do when we're reviewing a strategy is to ask ourselves, how aligned are we to achieve the strategy? We know what our purpose is. We already have a business strategy. But do we have the right capabilities within the organization? Do we have the, the right resources to support those capabilities? And do we have the right uh, management practice? Whether it's processes that are automated or manual, we need to interrogate all those issues to find out whether they are aligned. There's always this uh, talk around people having very, very well done strategies and then the execution seems to be a challenge uh, this is in very many levels if you if i may so is there a better way of ensuring execution or successful execution of a strategy it, it boils back to the alignment aspect uh obari and, and and because like you rightly said many organizations have their strategies the strategies are on the shelf uh collecting a lot of dust and it's because Many of the times we interrogate the environment. We want to know what is happening in the environment. And that's very, very important to know. 
the political environment, the technology environment, but we rarely interrogate how aligned we are internally as an organization. We want uh, the sales team to go out and, uh, and achieve their targets, but we've not asked ourselves, do we have the resources to support the sales team? And do we have the right uh, uh, management or leadership practice to support the utilization of those resources? So it's very, very important. That's why over, 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 over the years we began focusing on our strategy execution as a key area, as a key gap that we need to bridge to enable organizations and work with them to achieve their strategies. You spoke about uh, alignment in terms of people. So if we go to the individual person, and I say this with uh, my knowledge that you are also part of a, a marriage outreach ministry and you believe strongly that leadership begins from the family level. Yes, Obari. When, when you leave home, what are you going to do? When you wake up in the morning and you're going to work, or you're going to, I mean, what's the purpose for that? Everything goes back to the family. I mean, where do I want my family to be 5, 10, 10, 20 years from now? What a perspective do I have about my children? What kind of relationship do I want to have with, with my wife? So strategy begins at home. And remember at home that your house is an organization to somebody else. You've employed probably a, a caretaker or a house help. They actually come into an organization. So if you don't practice leadership at that level, then why should you want to practice it somewhere else? Okay. So should we have also some strategy at home? Yes. What, what is the purpose for existing, basically? All right. That's what we need to ask ourselves as individuals. Okay. And where do I want to see my family? What am I trying to do? What is, I mean, everything that I do, how is it connected to, what, to where I want my family to be in the future? Where I want my son to be, my daughter? Where I want my wife and I to be when the kids are out of the house? I mean, everything is all about strategy, and also at home. Interesting. Yeah. So you've also been a, a big proponent of design thinking when it comes to strategy. Uh, could you speak more to that as well? Yes, uh, and, and I like design thinking because design thinking is, has, has mainly been used in uh, technology innovation, especially if you want to empathize with, uh, uh, with the issue of the customer, you use design thinking. Uh, if you want to reframe the problem in a way that you understand it, we do that in design thinking and also to enable us to get involved in generative thinking, brainstorming to come up with a, with a solution. So when you apply it in, in, in strategy, it enables us now empathize with the organization and find, ask ourselves, what is this organization really going through? Where are the areas that it's struggling, it's struggling in? Then that helps us now reframe the problems in the organization. And you might find the problem is purely just misaligning resources because somebody in the organization or a team in the organization is starved of resources, they can't do what they're supposed to do. So you're able to reframe the problem. And after reframing the problem and coming up with a solution, uh, a lot of generative thinking and ideation happens. Well, my experience is that whenever we, we take an organization through design thinking and apply it on strategy, what they come out with is something completely new and a, and a point of realization. And, uh, they are able to now identify where the real issues are and able to now prioritize what they need to fix. Thank you very much. So perhaps you can give us your final thoughts around this conversion of strategy and perhaps a way forward. Yeah, my final thoughts about strategy is uh, I'd, I'd like uh, leaders to, to, to pay a lot of attention, a lot of attention to the internal aspect of the organizations, that alignment component. Uh, we spend a lot of time analyzing the environment, which is good, like I said earlier on. But let's spend more time asking ourselves how aligned are we to achieve, to achieve the strategy. And we can help many organizations walk through that path and they can get in touch with us. Dr. Pasio Pio sharing his insights on strategy in these weekly leadership conversations. This is a program brought to you courtesy of the Leadership Group and powered by Martin Odorotieno Leadership Academy. Until next week, see you. I'm your host, Obare. Thank you.